In this lesson, we're going to look at the higher level aspects of genealogical geometry. So basically, this is dealing with roads that are sloping. So they're either sloping up the way or they're falling. And they're referred to as inclined roads. Now, the difficulty that this creates is the height lines that we can see in these graphics here are not parallel to the road this time. So in neither case are the lines parallel to the road. So we need to discover how we create these lines when they're not parallel to the side of the road. So also we'll look at a small bit of when we have a road here and we might have a car park onto a section of the road here as well. So we look at how we deal with this in this question. And then we look at a few past higher level questions. What we have here is a road that is inclined. So it's either rising up the way or falling and you'll be told in the exam question whether the road is rising or falling depending on what point on the road they give you to start off with. So what we have here is the flat road it's an easy way to deal with because the lines are just parallel to the edge. In here it's a lot more difficult. Now what we have here is this is the embankment at this point of the road. So for example if we take an embankment of one and one so this is creating a 45 degree line so this here is what the soil looks like when we cut down through the side of the road. So this is what the embankment looks like. Now what happens then is as we go back along here, this is getting larger and larger. So what it is, what we have in this case here is a far larger section here. This here shows now what the actual whole section that has been filled in with, we'll say, stone and rock and then a covering of topsoil on top, what it should, will look like. Now, when we're dealing with this, we use a cone method. So, the cone method here is we've placed in a cone here. Now, the angle of the cone is the angle of the side slope. So, what we have here is this here is an angle of 1 and 1 in this case. So, what it is, it's a 45 degree cone drawn here and then a rotated around here. So, we've set up our angle on this point here and then we rotate it around. Now, what we can do in this case here is if we go back drawing our plane over the entire ground here again, what we'll notice here is this here is the section here. As it goes back along here, back along here, it'll match up with this here. So what we'll look at in this question here is we have two points in the road, A at 70 meters, B at 85. So what has happened in this case here is the road has rose up by 15 meters. Now, so what we have here, given the side slope in this question is one and one, what we have to do is calculate the cone that fits into this question here. So what we have in the graphic at the bottom of the screen here is, we have the road here, it's 70 at the low point, and then at the top point here it's 85. So what we have to do is use our side slope, so our side slope of one and one, and we have to look at how the road height has changed. So what we'll notice here is the road height here has changed by 15 meters. So it's now 15 meters high. So what we'll notice here is if we look at the side slope here, if we had one and one, this here is 15 by 15. So this here now gives us our size for our cone. So what we'll do here is we'll in introduce our cone into the graphic down here. So this here is our cone and we'll draw it in 3D. So this here is our cone positioned here. And what we'll notice here is this here, the top of the cone is 85, but the bottom of the cone is 70 because it's level with the bottom section here. So how that helps us is we can draw a line from the 70 point here to the bottom of the cone and that line now is 70. And that gives us all the section of fill that we'll be doing at the side of the road for that line of 70. So if we look at the graphic or at the drawing now, this here is radius 15. So we have radius 15 here. So again, a quick way to remember how to get this radius 15. We take the difference between the heights. So that's 15 meters and we multiply it by the side slope. So the side slope of one and one. So that means 15 by one, that's radius 15. The other thing to note here is when we're doing fill or embankments the cone always goes on the high point on the road 
so an easy way to remember that is that you fill up and you cut down so they are the positions for your cones so you're going to fill so fill up so that means up on the top point in the road so we have our cone drawn here now we're going to draw our line touching the side of the cone so it's drawn from the 70 point here touching tangential here so this line here is 70 so you can see this in the graphic below here that's our 70 line now what we can do is we can look at where the 70 line cuts in so in the graphic here what you'll notice here is when we draw this graphic here and draw in this green line it shows where this 70 contour line is and what we have is we have a point then where we can mark off so what you'll notice on the drawing now is we can mark off the 70 point up here on the drawing now what we're also doing in the graphic below here is drawing lines parallel to this 70 line so this shows us where it intersects with all the contour lines as we go down along the way so all these green lines now are going to be parallel to this 70 line up here and then a thing to remember as well when we're doing this is there is going to be some fill in this section here so how we deal with this is instead of just stopping at the 70 point here we have to go continue on in the way because that's a very important way on to find how we far in it goes in the road in this section here and this here is when we have to deal with roads that are sloping up the way or down the way so what you see on the graphic sheet here is we have the 70 contour line marked off now because it's cutting into this 70 height line next thing we're going to draw in is our 60 height line now the distance here is the side slope multiplied by the distance between the contour lines so what we know is there's 10 here and the side slope is 1 and 1 so that means the distance out here is 10 mils so we mark off the 60 points then we go with 50 40 and 30 so what this gives us is this gives us this section here and what we'll notice is we have an 80 contour line here so if we measure in 10 mils here and draw an 80 height line that'll give us a point here because what we have to think about in this question is in the previous lesson what we were looking at was level roads so the whole road so the edge of the road might have been 70 and the next contour line going out the way might have been 60 in this case here this here is the 70 line so the road here is now higher but it still has to be filled in because this here is 85 but the land beside it here is still lower than it so the land beside it here is 80 so this section here has to be filled in now if we look at this here the 85 or 90 point here this here is brought in along here and that's marked off our 90 here and then if we wanted to do 100 the 100 would be up here now what we have here is this here now is the fill for this road rising up the way so we put it in heavy and then we put in our tag poles to show the direction in which the land is sloping up the way now in this question a similar question again what we have is we have a to b and it's rising up 15 meters again in this case but what's different to this question here is the side slope now is one and two so if we want to look at this ratio of one and two for the side slope the first thing we need to look at is the triangle so one and two so for every one meter we come out two meters so in this case here we have now measured 15 meters so we have rose up the road by 15 meters so when we rise it up by 15 meters we have to come out 30 meters so again to get the radius for this cone that we're going to use is the difference between the heights on the two points of road so that's 15 meters multiplied by the side slope so the side slope here is 2 so it's 2 by 15 so our radius this time will be radius 30 so if we look here in the 3d graphic what we're going to do is this here is our side slope set up and now we're going to create our cone so this here is our cone so our cone in this case is a lot bigger and what we're going to do now is from this point here which is 40 high draw a level line to the base of the cone so that level line is going to be 40 high so it's not rising up so we construct our radius 30 here join it to our 40 
and what we'll do is we'll look at where this cuts in so what we see is we have a 40 contour line here so that's going to give us one point here in this question so next we're going to look at drawing in each of our height lines so what we'll notice is 45 then is up the way here then if we draw the next one this is 50 so if we were to set up these lines here we're going in the way here now on the 3d graphic here if we quickly draw this out so with the cone set up here we have our line that has 40 here and now we've placed in what our fill will look like and what we'll do is position our lines on it so each of our lines is positioned on here so measuring out our distances out across here so in this case here it'll be the distance between the contours which is 5 multiplied by the side slope which is 2 so it's 10 mil intervals we'll be measuring out along and then we measure in the way as well so in these questions we have to measure in the way as well so you'll see this when we set it up on the drawing here so our first point here is our 40 then we have 35 so this is our 35 point next we have 30 and next we have 25 and we'll say this line here is 20 so what we have here is all these points but what we can't do is we can't just finish our fill here we need to continue it on here so what we have to do is do more height lines but the height lines are inside here so the height line now is 45 so that'll give us a point here next height line then will be 50 next one 55 and final one 60 and what that gives us now is the section of fill on this road here so what we have here is this here is the line for the fill now to do the opposite side of the road it's just a matter of mirroring across the circle again joining back to a so this here is our line that's 40 and after that we set up our height lines again so the first one is mark off 40 then our 35 30 and then we're measuring in the way then so in the way the numbers are going to have to rise up so we're going to go 45 then 50 and then 55 and in this case we have to do 60 so and this gives us our line for our roadworks at the top side of the road now we draw in the two lines in heavy and then we put in our tag poles here to show what direction the land is sloping so tag poles always swim upstream so this means that this is going up the way and this land here is going up the way to meet the road so we can see what the actual thing looks like in the 3d graphic and this is what we're looking at in the drawing now remembering what this line actually represents is the edge of the fill here so this edge of the fill here how far out we have to come with fill now in this question here we have point A on the road at 90 metres and then we have point B on the road at 80 metres. So what we'll notice in this question here is that the road is dropping from A to B. So when we're dealing with this we have to remember where we put the fill cone. So that we fill up. So the fill cone will have to be placed at the high point on the road. So it's once we understand that the rest of the question is the very same as before. In this question it's a side slope of one and one and what we have to look at is one and one multiplied by a 10 meters of a difference so that'll tell us that our radius this time is going to be radius 10 so if we look here in the 3d graphic we have 90 up here we've 80 here and then we put in our cone again so this here is our cone and now we'll join 80 to the base of the cone which will be a level line so this will be our level line which is 80 in height that'll give us our fill angle and then we can start constructing the rest of the question so this here is 80 and it's a matter of drawing our lines out parallel from that so if we look at the 3d graphic again what we have here is this the high point this line here then the 80 point is joined to the base of the cone that's level and after that we create our series of level lines and they'll intersect with all our lines our contour lines out along here so what we're doing is in this question here there's 10 mil spaces between the contours so it's 10 by 1 so each of these spaces on your drawing sheet will be out 10 mils so this here is the first height line next height line is out 60 then 50 
DIN 40 and what we have here is we have what the fill looks like now the thing in this question here is we have a point here so this here is what fill looks like and then if we continue on the easy here so we have to continue on the easy here and that will give us a point in here so this here is where the easy finishes in here we can't go from this point join it straight into the road we need to join into a point so the point is here so what that gives us is this point here where it crosses over the road so this is key when we're doing these questions that we get a point inside in the road here to get this point here now to do the opposite side of the road the very same process all we do is mirror across the circle again and then set up our line at 80 and this time then just draw the lines parallel to this 80 line so then quickly then just draw in this now put it in heavy and black and a lower section in black and then just put in the tag poles here just to show the direction now in this question here we have point A is 80 and this question is slightly different in this question here what we're told is that the road is falling at a rate of 1 in 10 so that means for every 10 meters we measure across the road falls down by 1 meter so what we have to do to understand this is if we look at the ratio here of 1 in 10 so if we're measuring across the road here 10 it's falling down by 1 meter each time so if we look at the graphic here at the bottom of the screen what we have is the roadway here so we have a point marked off 80 here if we measure across 10 meters it falls by one so this here would be 79 but 79 is a measurement that's no good to us because there's no 79 on the map here that will help us so what we have to do here is measure a distance across here so we can measure a distance across 100 so if we measure a distance across 100 what we will know then is that the road now height here at b is 70. so that's how we calculate what height the road is at b so the b height now is 70. so in this question we've had to find what height the road is now and apart from that change the rest of the question is fairly similar to what we've been doing so again looking at the side slope in this question it's 1 in 1.5 so 1 in 1.5 and the difference in the road height this is 10 so what our angle this time for our cone is going to be radius 15 now what we have to take into account now is where do we put this cone so we fill up so this cone has to be drawn at the high point of the road so when we're dealing with fill it has to be put at the high point of the road so this is at this point here so the radius is going to be 15 and this will give us our line that is 70 so this here is radius 15 this joins back to B here so this will give us our line that's 70 and what we'll notice is we've got a point here on the road now this line comes out here and again these are dropping out so this has to be 65 so we've found 65 then 60 and then this should be just a slight mistake here this should be 55 here now then this road this line is extended in until it meets here so we can't finish something like this we need to finish into a set point so this is our point at 70 here now again looking here we need to finish inside here so what we have to do is draw a line here 75 this gives us a point here now draw another line that's 80 and this question here this here is what the fill looks like in this question now top side of the road done the same method again just mirror across the circle here set up our 70 line and then mark our 270 points first then 65 60 and what you'll notice in this question is it doesn't go out past 60 there's nothing else out past this so there's no point measuring out 55 past it because the 55 line is in here it won't cut into it so what we notice then is we have to measure in the way so measure in the way for 75 that gives us this point here measuring the road here for 80 so 80 is more or less on the road here so that gives us our fill for this side of the road 
and again just put in our symbols so our tag poles going up towards the edge of the road here to show the, uh, the land is sloping up towards the road now in this question now we're going to start looking at cut so what we have in this question here is all the land along the road here is higher than the road itself so what we're doing in this case here is a is at 30 and what we'll notice is all this land is way higher now engineers have decided in this case here to put a slope on the road and the reason we put a slope on a road is so to try and minimize the amount of cutting that we have to do for example if we had left this road level we do a huge amount of cutting when we get to the 60 and 70 marks here to be an awful lot of cut to be taken away but what we can do is if we slightly rise up the road we'll reduce some of the cut that has to take place so first of all if we're looking in this case here the road is rising up at a rate of one in five so we've got one in five so to look at one in five again we set up the road here so a is at 30 so if we take a measurement that is easy to measure out for one in five if we measure over 50 and measure up 10 then so for every 50 we go the road rises up 10 so if we can mark off b here b is at a height of 40. so on the drawing here on the map here we can measure across the distance of 50 and then measure up a height of 40 for b so now we found where b is on the road here so this height now is 40. now what we're going to have to look at is how we deal with cut when we're dealing with a road that's rising up so again we look at the side slope so the side slope in this case here is 1 in 1.5 so looking at here so for every one meter we rise up we're going to actually come out a distance of 1.5 so what that means is on this contour map if we were to look at this contour map the distances between the contours in this case here is 10 so 10 by 1.5 is 15 so we have to look at how this cone deals with when we're dealing with our cut so what we'll notice here is we've the edge of the road drawn here and we've the triangle positioned in here and the reason we've triangle positioned in like this is this here is what's been cut remember this is cut this time so it's been cut away so this here is being cut away so the cone is actually going to be turned upside down in this case here to show what's been cut away in the previous part of the topic what we had was we had the cone the correct way around the reason we had was because that's the angle in which the ground was sloping at now in this case here we have to turn the cone upside down so what we have is on the low point of the road this time so if we make this as point a here so this is 30 and then we put in what the cut looks like so the cut looks like this because this land here is going to be cut away and we draw on our cone this time so our cone this time is turned upside down and what we have here is a line from the 40 to the base of the cone this time is now level but it's a level at 40 meters and this here this red section here shows the actual slice so this shows it being sliced away so what the cone actually does so what we have in this case here is the cone set up here radius 15 from A draw a circle here radius 15 and then from B draw a line so this here is 40 so this is how we deal with this question when we're doing with cuts now the main difference is the cone this time we cut down so the cone this time is drawn the low point on the drawing so A is the low point on the drawing so the cut cone goes in the low point so that's why we say cut down so if we look at this and look at what's happening in the graphic here what we'll notice here is we measure out 50 then out 60 for our height lines now if we introduce this into the 3d graphic showing what the hillside looks like and how it cuts away so what we've positioned here is this is point a this is point b we've set up our cone on the low point and what we're going to do is show what the cone is actually cutting so the cone is representing this oblique plane that's cutting through the hillside here so it's cutting through all this land here so this is how it cuts through all this land so what we look at then is 
the heights then we mark off the heights on the drawing here so you'll see that they're corresponding to the 50s the 60s uh, 70s here and the, the highest point here so if we inch look at this in the drawing and then we'll see what's being cut away so obviously there's less being cut away now because the road is sloping up the way so if we bring this back to our drawing what we do is we measure out our line out 50 so it's parallel to this 40 line then the next that gives us a point down here then 60 again 70 and then our 40 and in this case here we need to find where our 30 is and our 20 is down here so what it is this here is the profile of this cut here and so what you'll notice is it's, very, it's identical to what's in the 3D graphic here of how the hillside has been cut away here and again it's important to find these points underneath the road as well so this point is underneath the road at this section here so this 50 was here 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 and on this point here as well so just to draw it in heavy day put in tag poles and remember tag poles this time go away from the road because this land is sloping up this direction here so it's sloping away from the road here so any cut is sloping away from the road so if we look at another question involving cut here so what we have here is a is at 50 meters b is at 70. contours this time are five meter intervals and if we look at the ratio then for some of the information given to us here what we have to look at is first of all the difference in the heights so the difference in the heights this time is 20 meters and next thing we have to look at is the side slope so the side slope in this case here is one and one so what that tells me is difference between the road 20 multiplied by one that'll be the radius of our cone so what we have in the graphic down here this point here is 50 this point here is 70 so where we're going to set up our cone so we have to set up our cone inverted and at the low point so it's inverted at the low point so this here is the low point in the road so 50 the cone is drawn inverted and it's a radius of 20 and what that gives us is the base of the cone now is up here and joined that to 70 using a level line so on our drawing here we'll draw a radius 20 join it to be that 70 then this gives us our cutting plane and basically all we have to do then is put in our height lines on it so you'll notice in the graphic here we're going in the way here because there's quite a distance in the way in this question so we're going dropping down the way as we're getting lower and we'll also be going out the way as well so if we look at what's happening in the 3d graphic here of what's happening so we take away half the road first we set up our cone on the low point show this oblique plane show what it's cutting through and what we have is all the different height lines here cutting through the landscape here so what we have to do in this question then is just represent it on the drawing sheet here so this here is the piece being cut away so to represent on this on the drawing sheet we go from 70 out 75 80 and it's five meter intervals this time and what it is to look at the distance between each of these it's the side slope which is one multiplied by the distance of the contour so that's five so these are only five mil in this case so what we have is out as far as the 95 point here then what it is we have this much cut what we have to do is finish it off here so we have the 70 point here so what we have to look at now is how we finish this off so what we need to do is we need to bring more parallel lines more height lines along here so these lines now are going to be 65 that gives us this point here then 60 55 and then 50 in side in the road here so that gives us our cut profile now so this is how much cut has to be done on the hillside now to do the lower section it's just mirror the circle across here and the same thing again so quickly going through this here it's the very same thing and then just drawing our tag poles in as well to show what the lines look like and show the land sloping away from the road now in this question here we're given a side slope of one and two so quite a bigger step this time so what we're looking at here is a 10 meter difference in the road heights 
so that's 10 by 2 so that'll be a radius 20 in this case so again looking at this here and setting it up here so we have 75 here so we set up our cone down here so this here is our cone and this time it's going to be 20 radius 20 in this case so we can see where the radius 20 so it's the difference in the height 10 multiplied by the slice so 2 so that's 20 so and again line drawn across here 85 this cone has to be drawn on the low point so on our drawing up here we're going to be drawing this on our low point so this is drawn on the low point here so this is 85 and then we start marking off all our points on it now again looking at it in the 3d graphic we have our cone here and this shows the oblique plane as what it looks like when it's cutting through the landscape so these are all the height lines brought across cutting into the landscape so we have the 90 here 95 100 and so on then we'll draw our line down here so we have to get a point down here down 80 so that gives us a point here oh how we'll notice we still have another contour line here of 75 so we measure down 75 that gives us a point here and the final one down 70 so this is all our points now that we found so we can draw in our line now for our cut where our cut will be and again draw in our tight pulls here so that just shows how that section of road is now cut now in this question here we're given a ratio of one and one for the side slope and what we're told in this question is that the road is falling at a rate of one in ten so this time we have to find where a point on the road is so we have to find where our point say b is on the road so what we have to do here is set out the altitude of the road so we're setting off 90 so and because it's 10 here if we measure measure across here 100 it's the easiest measurement to deal with now we could measure or five but in this case it's not going to help us because what we'll notice is the contours are measured in tens here so we need a height line here of finishing in a zero at the end of it so we've measured across here 100 and this gives us the height of the road now 80 so on our drawing here measure across here 100 mark off where b is b is at a height of 80. now looking at the side slope in this question so side slope of one and then the distance between the roads then is 10 so that's going to be radius 10 circle in this case here and on the low point so that's going to be point b so that's where we're going to be setting up our our cone this time so again looking at the 3d graphic here quickly going through this low point of the road then our line then our level line is joined from 90 to the base of the cone and then this is what it looks like on the graphic so what we have here is this our line is 90 and then we measure out here so obviously it's getting higher so this number has to be 100 and then the next one is 110 and 120 then we go below the line so this line here is 80 and this line here is 70 and this here is the points that we'll be got now this is the top side of the road now the base the bottom side of the road here is done the exact same way and that's how we do the cut in this question here finishing off with the tag pull symbol set now in this question it's slightly different what we have in this question is a to b is level so as we looked at in lesson one on this topic so this is fairly straightforward and then what we're told in the question then is the road is going to be sloping from b to c one in seven point five so one in seven point five so a slightly different ratio this time to deal with so what we we'll look at is we deal with the level part of the road first so the level part of the road is really easy to deal with because basically it's just this here is level so we measure out here and in this question it's going to be cut again so all of this has been cut away so we're measuring out here 35 then 40 45 and what we have in this question here is this is what the profile of the cut looks like and then we continue it on here a small bit as well but we leave this drawn lightly because we don't know where the other line is going to be intersecting with this now we do the same on the bottom section of the road so what we have is 
the lower section done here and then we have another point found here because there's a small piece here that has to be done so we just draw this in lightly in blue now we need to deal with the side of the road that is rising so b is at 30 now we have to find how far over in the road is we'll say a height that we can use so in this question here what we're going to do is on the road here we have a position here of 30 if we measure over say 75 meters what we know the road is going to be it's going to be 10 meters higher on that point here so what we know is the road is going to be 40 meters on that point so we'd look at b here measure across here 75 put a mark on the road here this road now is 40 at x okay so it doesn't have to be on c okay it doesn't have to be on c as long as we find this measurement down 75 meters draw a line here and it's rarely ever on the c point unless you're given the height for c so this x point here is quite common in all these questions so basically what we have to look at is the change in height is 10 and the side slope here is 1 and 1 1.5 so that means our radius this time is going to be radius 15 so what we have to deal with is where we draw the circle so we're going to be drawing the circle on the low point which is b radius 15 now in this case here we're going to set it up both sides of the line here so the first one is 40 here so this here is 40 and we mark off the other 40 point here and then what we'll do is we'll start marking off the height lines across here so it's going out the way so remember when we're doing cut all these lines will be getting greater as it goes away from the road so 45 50 and then in this case here it has to go down to 35 and what we'll notice here is this will give us points where they cross over one another so this gives us 30 here now this here is our profile found here now what we have also is we have the point in which they overlap is this point here so this here is where they overlap so this line then and this line here are irrelevant what we'll be doing as engineers is just cutting back as far as these lines here so this here is joined into the edge b and this here is the profile of the top section of the road done now to do the bottom section of the road very similar again take our height lines marking off all our height lines and then again what we're looking at here is where these lines cross over so basically they're crossing over on some point here it's very hard to tell where they actually cross over so it's a small overlap here and then the line is joined up here so to finish off the question then we just draw in the tag poles here then now in this question what we're looking at is we have a road here 70 at 8 side slope this time what we have is what we're told is for cut it's 1 and 2 and in this question here the fill is 1 and 1.5 the road is rising from a to b 1 and 10 so what we notice in this question here is we've got both cut and fill on the road so what we have is road here is 70 so if you look at the land around here this area here is 70 but what we'll notice here is the road is rising up we're told that the road is rising up so the road is going to be higher than 70 when it gets to this point here so there's going to be a bit of fill on this road but a lot of cut so most of this is going to be cut but we'll have both things happening in this so first of all we have to mark off our 1 in 10 rising so 1 in 10 rising so again we measure across 100 mils that'll give us a point that we know on the road that is 80 so we're measuring across here 100 mils drawing a line here this here is 80 at x so now what we're going to do is deal with our two cones so first of all we have a cone drawn here now this here is going to be the cut cone and how i know it's a cut cone it's on the low point in the road so we cut down so this is for cut and how we got the size of this is the difference in the road height 10 multiplied by the side slope which is 2 so we join x back to this spot here this here is 80 so what we can start doing then is marking off our points 80 so we one point here we have another point here underneath the road next thing then is we take our measurements out away so what we'll do in this question here is it's out 85 
90, 95, and the last contour is 95. Now we'll also have to measure in the way here because we can't leave this like that. We have to find where this crosses over the road here. Now, so what we have here is, this here is the section here, done, and this is brought in roughly in along here. What we should have done here was measured in 75 here and found this point here. Now, what we'll do then is, this here is the 75, so that's showing where this point was found. Okay, so it's very important to find that road, that point inside in the road there. Now, what we'll do here is, while we have the cut done on one side, we'll do the cut on the other side. So looking at the cut here, these are all the points here now for the cut done on this side of the road. Now once we have the cut done, what we have to look at is how to do the fill. So remember, fill up. So we're going to be filling up. So we're looking at the side slope of 1 and 1.5. So that's 1.5 multiplied by 10. So our radius this time is going to be radius 15 inside here. So it's going to be radius 15 inside here. So this is our radius 15, this joins back to A. So now the height of this line has to be 70 because it's joined to the line, it's joined to a point that is 70. Now what we do here is mark off positions on this point here that are 70 already and then going out the way and remember it's filled so the numbers are dropping down. So this here is 65, 60, 55. So that's our fill section here and again we have to get a point inside here accurately. So to get a point inside here accurately, measure down here, 75 this case, this gives us a point here. Now again, that's outside the edge of the road. So we have to take another one in here, that's 80. So what this gives us is, this gives us a line now that we can draw. And what has to happen in these questions is, they have to overlap on the same point here. So that's our top section of the road here. Now there's a small bit to be done on the far section here. So this 75 line is continued over here. So what it is, it gives us a point here. Now the 80 line is also continued on here. So this is 80. And then what we'll notice is, probably 85 is going to have to be drawn out here as well. So this is 85. So this is our point here. And what we'll do is we'll draw our line here. So what we have is we have a small bit of fill here. So what has happened, the land here, as the road has rose up, the land has started to level out and the road is now higher than the land. So there's a small bit of fill to be put in this side here. Now, if we do the bottom section of the road, then now we've done the exact same way. So I'll quickly flick through here to show how it's done. So that's the bottom section and then the other section at the end here is done. And this here is what the exam question looks like. And the final thing then is just to put the tag poles in here. And again, remembering when it's filled up, it's filled up towards the road. So the tag poles are going up towards the road and then cut, they're cut away. And what's done in this case here is they're done in green for the fill and done in a different color in kind of a brown color here for the cut. Now this is a very typical leave and search higher level question where you have both cut and fill in the same question. Now in this question here, we have a road here, A to B, so we have 50 here, and then we have 60 here. So what we notice here is there's 30 of a gap here, so there's 30 of a gap here, and for cut this time it's 1 and 1, so the radius 30 here. So this is very similar to the rest of them, so we'll quickly go through this, I don't think there's anything new in this question. The distance out here are 10 mil because the distance between the contours are 10. So what we'll do here is find each of these points here. So this here is what the cut section looks like. And the reason the cut section is, remember, cone here, low point, so it's cut cone. Now the same thing has to be done on the other side of the line. This here is the fill cone this time. Now this here is a lot bigger radius here because the side slope for fill in this case here is 1 in 1.5, so that's 30 by 1.5 so that's radius 45 in this case so again trying to eight so this line here is 50 so wherever this cuts in so there's a 50 point here so that'll give us one point here that's 40 here 60 70 and that's our fill here and again done the same on the bottom section here where we have a bit of fill here so what we notice in this question is most of one side of the road here 
has been filled in there's a bit of cut on this side and what that tells me is that the land is dropping away at one side of the road and it's a bit higher on the opposite side of the road so we've eventually put in our tag poles in to finish off now what we have in this question now is dealing with a level car park and how we deal with cutting and filling around it so it's very easy to deal with it because we just imagined it's the same as a level road we're told all of this is 45 so basically we're just going to be measuring out lines from the edge here parallel different height lines and marking off our cut and fill so in this case here we're going to start off with our cut so it's done in red so one and one and the distance out is five meters between the interval so it sides up by one so that's five mils out so five mil out 55 then 60 65 70 and this here is our section and what we have in this question here is b it's cutting through at 45 here so what we have is the first piece of cut is done here now the next thing is we'll do in this question here is we'll do this edge of the road here so do this edge of the road here it's 50 here 55 60 and so on and what we'll eventually get here is this here is what our cut section looks like here and again where they intersect with one another there's a line drawn from a here so that's our cut section here and now what we'll notice here is the rest of the land here is a lot lower so what we have to do is do our fill section so these are going out the way and dropping down because the land is dropping around so we have 40 35 30 back to 35 and then the lower section similar process again so what we have here is this section now done across here and again see where they intersect and that gives us our fill section here so final thing is to put on the tag poles here to show which way the land is sloping now in this question here slightly bit more complicated what we have here is a is at 45 and we have a piece of a car park here now the road in this case here is sloping up one in ten so what we have to do here is the cut in this question here is one in one so what we have to do is locate point b so what we've done here is measured across here 100 and then marked off b so we know that this is 55 so b here is 55 and the next thing that we'll do here is we'll do our cutting here so looking at this there's 10 meters of a difference and it's 10 by 1 because the side slope is 1 so this is radius 10 in this question join this point here and remember this is cut so this is cut down to the corners on our lower point so this here is 55 so as we're going out the way we're going 60 65 and so on all the way out along here so what we have here happening in this question here is this is the cut now we do the same on the other side of the road so on the lower section of the road here all of this has been cut away here now in this question here we have the car park that we have to deal with now the problem with the car park is we're told that xy line is a level this is level but the rest of the car park here is sloping with the road but this edge here is level so for imagine if we draw any lines across this into the road they're going to be all level as well so what it is we need to find where a height line would be in relation to xy line now the easiest way to draw this is to set up a profile so what we have to do is take point b and point a and bring it up the way now we mark off b here and a and what we're drawing here is we're drawing the road here so this now is the road drawn the way it's sloping so it's a profile through the side of the road here now if we bring up point xy line onto that that is the point there so what we'll notice now is it's about 53 so what it is that's really no use to us when it's 53 so what we can do is we can set up our cut here because we know this is going to be cut so we can set up our cut here and that gives us our point here so this point now is giving us our point here for a known height so that known height is going to be 55 so what we have here is and if we extend on this this here gives us a known height of 50 so what we can do now is bring this line down here so this here is 55 if we bring down this line then 
or create another line out the way because we're going doing a bit of cut here so this is going out the way here so 60 65 and then 70 75 and what we're getting here is this piece of cut here so this here is a piece of cut just for this section here so we're doing a piece of cut for this section here now once we've that line found so this line we've done quite a large amount of it here now what we have to deal with is deal with this section of the road here now the easiest way of dealing with this section of the car park is just bring our circle here out parallel to this edge here so parallel to this edge here so what we're going to do here bring this section road out here bring our circle back out here so kind of a translation out and join this point here this here is 55 and then we bring our lines parallel so again all our lines are parallel so this will allow us to do our cut for this section of the road so what we're looking at here and how this is done is basically what we're doing is we're taking this setup work from the first part of the question and just moving it out here and the reason for that is we were told that the car park here is the same slope as the road so it's sloping the same amount so we're just recreate this circle out here now this here is our cut section and what you notice then is our cut section cuts in to this line here for the edge x y so x then is joined into this point here where they overlap so this here is our section of the cut all around the car park so this is all cut in this case so we'll put in our tag poles now in this question very similar to the last question this question here it's falling in this case so the road is falling down one in 7.5 so what we're going to have to do in this question is from a measure 75 and that means the road now has dropped down to 65 so the fill slope this time is one in one so what we're going to look at is drawing up our cone now fill up so that means it has to be on the high point of the road now the size of this is if it's one and one so that's one multiplied by the difference in the height so it's 10 so this radius here is radius 10 so we set up this line here so this line here has to be 65 and now what we'll do is we we'll do our height lines and we quickly draw in our fill so this is what our fill section looks like here now we'll do the opposite side of the road just mirror our cones across here and do these sections here so all we can do in now this piece here is do this section of the road here now in this question again we have an xy line here that's parallel uh, to the edge or perpendicular to the edge of the road but it's level with the road so it's level with the road of the line here the rest of the car park is sloping the same as the road so it's falling down so this here is level so again in this question here we have to draw a profile of the road so what we have here is a here 65 70 75 mark where a and b are so this is a and b this is the gradient line so the slope of the road bring up our xy line so our xy line now is on this point here so what we know in this question is the road is sloping down so the fill it's filled down so if we draw a line here of one and one here this will give us a point here and a point here on known gradient lines so what it is we create this line and in this case because it's one and one we create it at 45 degrees this gives us a point here so that's the point 70 65 so what that will give us is two height lines in this question here so this here's 65 next one here is 70 and what we have to look at is where they cut in so do they cut in with anything along here so what we'll notice here 55 here 60 55 so we have to draw out more lines so this is out 50 and uh, 60 here so that'll give us a point here 50 so what we have here is a small bit of fill along this section here so this here again when they cross over one another that means where this fill here crosses over this fill that'll join into a line into x here so this here is this section done <coughs> now next we have to deal with this edge so to deal with this edge it's basically the same as we did the first part just bring our setup work that we used for the top part of the road out to this edge here so basically we're going to extend on the edge of the car park here bring out point a here set up our circle here 
and then go over 65, 60, 55, 50. Now plot our points. So this is our points plotted and where they intersect again, that's a point we join that back to Y. So this shows what our fill looks like between X and Y and then this section then is the sloping section. And we finish off with drawing in tight bolts into the drawing then. Now, finally in this question here, what we have is we have a car park with point X is 90, point Y is 80. So we're actually given measurements this time, we don't have to find heights. So we know there's a 10 meters of an interval and in this question here we're told it's a cut of 1 and 1 and a fill of 1 and 1.5. So basically what we have is we have a section of road here to do and then we have a car park here to do. So basically what we're going to do is set up, looking at this, this is going to be cut. So this line here is 90 and the reason we know this is cut is this here, low point. So we've created this cone, low point. So looking at the difference, they're 10 meters. So 10 by one, radius 10. This line here is 90. So we're going to do our cut along this section here. So basically what we've done this setup work is for just this piece of the road here. So we haven't looked at the section of the car park here. So basically what the cut section is cutting in, cutting in as far as this point here, then continues in along there. Now the top section of the road, very easy to do because it's all the one straight line. So basically what we have is we mark off our points all the way up along here. And then underneath the line as well has to be done. So this here is our profile line there and all that can be drawn in heavy. Next point here that we deal with is we have a section here that needs to be cut. So we have to look at how we do the cut here. So what we've done here is we've measured the distance across here now 95. Now how we were able to do this is what we were told was we were told that the road was sloping. Uh, this here is 10. So what we're given here is this here is 95 so what we're told in this question here is this here was a known height in this case so this known height here was 90 so we're able to measure out our 95 from this point here and our 100 out from this point here so it's a lot easier in this question here now what we'll notice is the 90 contour line is cutting through the corner of the car park that makes it really easy to do now the next point that we have to look at is If we deal with the side over here so this basic side down here so what we're doing in this case here we know from here to here now it's going to have to be fill because all of this has been cut away so what we're doing is setting up our fill cone here so what we're looking at is this here is 90 this is 80 so there's 10 10 by 1.5 so this here is radius 15 in this case this is joined back to this, so this is 80. And again, this here is our lines marked off here, going out the way, going dropping down as we're filling it up, and then we're going in the way. So what we'll notice here is we have our points plotted along here. So these points are plotted along here. Now, to do the fill on this section here, this line here is 80, so what it is, we can take this as this is level all the way out along here because this section of the road is level. So what, before we do that, we'll just do a small bit of the fill up in this section here. There's a tiny bit of fill that's going to be up in this section here that we have to put in. And then we do the this line here, which is level. So what we're going to do is this edge here is 80. So this line here is going to be 75. So that'll give us two points here. Then next 70. We've 80 in here, 85 in here if we need it. And this here is the fill for this section here. So what we have here is we have each of these sections in here. And then we just put it all in heavy then. So this here is the whole section done around that car park. This is the 2015 higher level section C1 question. So to begin this question, we are told that the roadway here from A to B is level so it's level at 65 meters and there's going to be a piece of 
fill in this section here because we, if we look at the contour lines we'll notice that they are lower than 65 and then there's going to be a piece of cut and what we'll notice is that the 65 contour line is cutting through B and cutting through the road on this point here so if we start off with the fill section so what we're going to do is measure up a height line here of for 60 and it's all out 7.5 now where we get the 7.5 is the side slope is 1 in 5 or 1 in 1.5 and it's multiplied by the contour distance so the distance between the contour lines which is 5 so 5 multiplied by 1.5 will give us 7.5 then we'll draw a line out here so this is our first height line so it's out 60 and then the next one is out another 7.5 and 55 and because this is fill the land is getting lower so these numbers have to be getting lower as well so we're plotting out all these points here so this here is the first part filled in and we can plot these points here so this here is the fill section done in this piece now if we look at the next section so the next section is going from this point here to B so this is all going to be cut so we'll just do it in a different color here so what we're doing is we've a height line here of 70 now to figure out how far out this line comes it's a side slope of 1 this time multiplied by the difference between the contours which is 5 so this line here is out 5 mil and then the next height line is out another 5 mil to get 75 and because the land is getting higher these the height lines have to be getting bigger so what we have here is each of these points marked off here and then it's a matter of drawing in the cut section here now the next piece that we'll deal with is this edge here so what we have is we've an edge here g f and we know that this edge here is level so what we want to deal with is this edge here level so this here is dealt the same way as the rest of the level road is dealt with so we have this edge here level we, l we know it's 65 and we notice that all the land around it here is lower or 65 or lower so what we can do is we can do all fill for this section here so the first line we mark out here is out 7.5 and it's a 60 height line then we mark out 55 50 and these are our lines here now what we're doing here is we're drawing this line in here now we're drawing it lightly first of all because we don't know where to finish it up here so the next piece we have to do is we have to go from F to E now in this case here we're told that the road from B to C is rising in a ratio of one in one point or one in point seven five so that means for every seven point five meters we measure it goes up one meter so what we do is we set up our side here so what we're looking at here is measurements here so what we have determined here is point c here is 70 so e here is 70 so f is 65 so what we have here is we'll say a difference of 10 so what we have to deal with is how we get our cone now this here is going to be our fill cone because all this section here has to be filled in so we're going to fill all this section in because what we'll notice is the 70 contour line is going through e here so our fill cone we take the difference between the heights so that's five meters multiplied by the side slope for our fill which is 1.75 so what that gives us is a radius of 7.5 so that radius here is going to be 7.5 when we're drawing it in here on point E so this here is a radius of 7.5 now we join this line back to F and we know that line is going to be 65 so this line is 65 so that gives us our first point here now we draw out our next height line 7.5 out again because it's fill this gives us our 60 and then we get our 55 50 then and what we have now determined here is our line for our fill so now we can draw this in heavy we can draw this line in heavy and we have a point of intersection here that we can join back to f so we can join this back to f here 
So that completes the roadworks part of this question. This is the 2016 higher level section C1 question. What we have in this question is a swimming pool and then the land beside it. Now what's unusual in this question here is that the contours were in one meter intervals. So what we had was we had one meter intervals and we had a scale of one is to 100 rather than the typical scale of one is to a thousand. So this caused great difficulty for some students to work out how you do the question. So if we look at this question first of all, what we're looking at here is this line here from A to D is level. So it's all level at five meters and there's a piece already done here for us. So the piece from uh, A to B is already done and then we have a piece then from C to B which is curved and then we have a piece from uh, D to C that ha is level. So if we start off with the piece from D to level because it's level, what we'll look at is we have one meter intervals and then the ratio is one is to one. So our height lines this time when we're measuring out here is going to be out 10 mils for every meter. So that's using our scale this time of one is to 100. So we've measured out here one. So this here is cut. So this here is six meters out this time. That gives us two points. Then we have our seven meters, eight meters and nine meters. So this here is our cut section here. Then the next piece that we look at is from uh, B to C. And what we'll notice here is this line here is five meters. So what we notice about all the land around us is a lot lower. So we're going to have to fill in this section here. So again, our side slope in this question was one is to one. So basically what we're doing here is going out 10 mils here and scribing an arc. So this arc is going to be a four meter height line. The next one that we scribe out is going to be a three meter and then finally with a two meter and then we plot it in here so this here is our fill section in this question the next part of the question is taking the section from D to E and what we're told in this question is that it's falling down sloping down the way and what it is it's going from D to E and E is at four meters D is at five meters so we don't have to calculate how much is rising or falling by we're actually told so what we have to do in this question is first of all determine whether it's going to be cut or fill so what we'll notice here is if this is four and all the land around it is a lot higher so this has to be cut away again so we're going to be using a cut cone so we cut down so the cone is going to go on the low point so again it's the difference between the height so that's one and it's going to be multiplied by the side slope which is one and what it is in this case that's going to be a 10 mil radius here so it's a 10 mil radius cone placed here on the low point on e and that gives us our height line of five so if we draw it in here and then construct our line here so this is our five meters so it's obviously intersecting at d here then we go and come out with our six meter and then our seven meter eight meter nine meter and then after that we can plot in all the cut section here so that completes the fill and cut section of this question this is the 2017 section c c1 question what we have here is a ski resort so a map of a ski resort the section from a to b is level and then from b to c it falls down and then from C to D it's a level area again so what we have here is obviously people would be skiing on this section here then they go down this slope here and then into this wider section here so what we're asking this question is to do the cut and fill for the sides of this ski run here so how they shape the sides of the ski run here so to look at this question what we're told is a to b is level and it's at 65 so what we have to look at is if we look at the land around it we notice that it's all higher so this has to be cut away so there's going to be cut done on this section here so in this question here we're told the side slopes for cut is one in 1.5 so that means that these are going out at 7.5 mils out and the first line is out 70 the next line is out 75 then 80 85 90 and then it goes back in then to 85 again now this is this section 
Now what we're looking at is the next section here is from B to C and we're told the height of C in this case here is 50. So we notice that there's a 15 meter drop from B to C. So we're going to be doing cut, so we're going to be using a cut cone. So the cut cone is going to be on the low point. So we cut down, so it's going to be on the low point, and the size of it's going to be is, it's 15 meters of a difference multiplied by the side slope. So the side slope is one in 1.5. So it's 1.5 multiplied by 15, gives us a radius of 20, 2.5 mils so we're going to be creating our cone down here radius 22.5 and joining it to B and that gives us our height line of 65 and then we'll start positioning all our height lines going out the way because the land is getting higher so these line measurements have to get higher so we plot out each of these points here so each of these points are plotted out along here and then we go back in the way as well because there's some detail here we can't leave this guess this measurement so we can measure in a height line here of 60 measure in another height line of 55 and then we can plot out all of this here and what you'll notice in this question they have the contour line of 50 cutting through c here it's on purpose for the exam situation here so this whole section here is done in cut and then we just plot it in heavy now so this section here can be plotted in heavy and the reason why we have a line joined from the intersection here is they're just two slightly different sloping surfaces here. So we join a line from where the two lines intersect into B here. The next section then is we deal with is from C to D. So what it is, we're told that this is level. So what we'll notice here is all the land here is lower than the 50 measurement at C. So this is all going to be fill. So in this case here, the side slope for fill is one and two. So the, to find the distance out for the height line, it's the difference between the contours, which is five. So it's five multiplied by two, giving us a distance of 10 out. So our first measurement here is 45. Then our next measurement is 40, then 35. And that's the section done here. Now the next piece here is this section here, so again, this is the same thing, out 45, then 40, 50, or sorry, 35, 30. And this here is our section now done. Now they're crossing over on this point here, so this point here can be joined into this section here. It's because this is one slope of fill and this is another slope of fill, but this whole section here is done in fill. So that completes the fill and cut of this question. Mm -hmm.